everyone, and welcome to my Super Sim Challenge. Check out my snazzy new logo that I just made. What we're actually here for today is to make my Super Sim. Or, well, right now she has zero skills, but she will be a Super Sim. Someday. I feel like this, tr this is going to go on for years, but <laughs> we'll see. I decided to name her Simone. Simone Bean is... Well, honestly, I thought it was funny. Super Sim named Simone. Yeah, I'm not funny. <laughs> but trying to find her aspiration was actually a little bit more difficult than I was originally anticipating. Because that, that top trait stays with them, I believe, no matter how often you change their aspiration. So that's why I was, I was checking them out at the top to make sure that I got the one that would be the most useful in the long run. I know she's going to end up with all kinds of useful things, but I thought high metabolism might be a good place to start. Well, and then before actually figuring out the rest of her traits, I decided that I wanted to know what she was going to look like. I had zero plans for her, her appearance. So I thought for a minute that I might want to go with a pixie cut, which they're really cute, but... I just wasn't feeling any of them. So I tracked down a couple of other styles and eventually settled on some of the new hairstyles from Island Living. I love that one, but the little half updo is just adorable. It's it's so cute. And Simone's look by the end, it's just she's just adorable. It's she's not sexy or cool or anything. She's just kind of cute. Which, it'll, it'll be fun. She's kind of a blank slate. We'll see what who she really becomes over time. I'm sure she's going to drive me crazy by the end of the day. But trying to figure out just the little details on her face. I like flipping through all the eyes. I have a hard time figuring out what they're actually going to look like from the menu. So I have a tendency to click through all of them before I settle on something. <laughs> but... I, I don't know, I tend to go for like the bigger like Disney style-ish eyes. I made an entire house full, full of Disney princesses once. And that was that was a lot of fun. Just wanted to make sure her profile was was cute. Like I said, I don't make a whole lot of like little detail-y changes, just a few little adjustments here or there and then using the stuff from the from the menus. And then I decided, I thought I was going to have her have blue eyes, but ended up going with just a, a hazel. Which, weirdly enough, is almost the same color as her hair. But yeah, makeup and bright pretty clothes will bring her out a little bit. As I said, I, I just, I needed neutral from the start. And I'll, I'll come up with new outfits and hairstyles and stuff as things go along, because I love playing in Create a Sim, which is probably one of the main reasons I haven't done the Super Sim Challenge yet, because the idea of just staying with one Sim for a long period of time is daunting and seems slightly boring, but that doesn't mean I can't change things up every once in a while, and she's going to end up with a family and stuff eventually. Like, I'm the person that while I was doing the, while I'm doing the 100 Baby Challenge, I change all, everything about what the kids' hair and clothes look like as they age up. Well, here I finally went back, now that I had kind of her general look down, and figured out her traits. So, like I said, going vaguely neutral. Like, I didn't want her to be evil, because I need her to be able to do good things, too, without being all annoyed about it. I didn't want to go good, because she'll have to be interacting with evil sims, and I don't want her to be all angry about that either, so. I thought creative would be a good place to start, since she'll need to be doing everything creative, maxing out all of those skills. And then cheerful was relatively safe, it didn't seem to have any negative side effects. And then music lover I thought would be helpful too. I love these cute little Halloween costumes, I might add some in later uh, as party wear. but. For now, I didn't want her to necessarily be like she was living in a zombie apocalypse right off the bat. Or a pirate. So I, I again, just I try to find something really cute. 
And I, I bounce through these clothes all the time. I have a habit of forgetting to change the color, so I'm like, oh, whatever. <laughs> but I, I was just kind of adjusting her a little bit. She actually ended up looking a little bit like me. Uh, just kind of on the thin side and brown hair. I don't know. I, I, I think she's fun. <laughs> this dress. I love this dress. It's so pretty. I want one. And I, I think this might be where her style started looking like mine too. More or less. Um, she ends up with, I, I believe, four everyday outfits. I love all that new island mode stuff. Just because I, I like the idea of like her waking up and not looking exactly the same every day. It took me forever to figure out how to like assign different outfits, but I'm glad I finally did. I like this one too, that's actually really my style. Although that skirt is super cute. And then for her third outfit, I found the, the off the shoulder sweater and the cute little capris. Kind of a keep you warm, but not necessarily like winter wear for a cooler day. And around here, my, the battery in my mouse actually died, so I kind of bounced back and forth a little bit more than I normally would between some different shoe styles just because I got distracted and had to walk away for a bit. But I ended up with those cute little cat shoes. I mean, how could he not love little shoes with cats on them? It's just too precious. And then her formal wear. I wanted to go really formal. As I, I have a lot of teenagers that I end up playing with, so they get the, the cuter little shorter dresses, but I love this sparkly, pretty thing. And then when I put her hair up, I saw that she had those big, beautiful earrings that went with that necklace, so I found that that hairstyle had a clip that matched. Then her exercise look, a little more on the sexier side. I think by the time I get done with it, although this little crop sweatshirt is absolutely adorable, I might end up giving her more than one exercise look at the end of the day. But um, I actually have pants that look like that. <laughs> and then give her a little sports bra or something. I think. I think I do end up with a sports bra At, after I go through everything. <laughs> I just wanted something that matched your pants. And you can't exercise. You gotta put your hair up when you're exercising, get it out of the way. I learned that the hard way. I have those little wisps in the front of my face too and they just go everywhere when the wind is blowing or you're trying to do anything. And cute, comfortable swimwear or swimwear, sorry, nightgown, night clothes, PJs. I know what I'm talking about, I swear. <laughs> For party wear, um, I love that dress. I love the different layers. It's almost 20s-ish, but not quite. I There's actually a boutique near me that sells a lot of clothes like that, and they tell you about layering and stuff, so it's just, it was just too cute. I wish they had, like, belts you could add in here, though. And then I found that sweater dress. I absolutely adore that sweater dress as an outfit for them with leggings. So I went back to the everyday, and that's what I'm doing here is giving her that sweater dress. That's one of her everyday outfits. Because I just I just couldn't resist. She's so cute. Which means I didn't want to use it for party, so I ended up going with this new island living dress, which is also absolutely adorable. And then swimwear. Well, maybe we'll go to the pool because she doesn't have one yet. But a couple of different swimsuits. It's simple. I like the, the first one that was a little 1950s. And then her hot weather outfit. By this point I was getting a little bit bored. <laughs> so she just has this simple pink dress. And then I really, I don't like most of our cold weather stuff. I usually end up turning off the filter and then hoping for the best, but I, I just kind of went with it here. You can only use those whole outfits so many times when you only have three of them. So here are all of our outfits, her four every day that all show up randomly, or I might just change her into them whenever I feel like it, her formal, athletic wear, her sleepwear, if 
the changes. There it is. Uh, party wear, one, well, two and one. Might have to get some little more fun than that. And then her swimwear. And hot weather. And last but not least, cold weather. So if you want to attempt to give Simone an easier life than the one that I will be putting her through, or, you know, find a way to make hers even worse, feel free to download her for the gallery. My name on there is Cricket126. I, I know it's different than the channel. Someday, hopefully, I'll figure out how to update that. But in the meantime, Simone and the house that I'll be using for her are both up on the gallery as well as a couple of other houses that I've built and some other characters, including a handful of characters from my 100 Baby Challenge. They're not all up yet, I have about 30 of them and only I think about 6 are actually up on the gallery at the moment. Um, if you ever want to see anything, let me know. If you have any tips for this challenge, please mention them in the comments. I am totally open to ideas. I will be doing all of the careers and likely starting with the um, the interactive ones right off the bat so that I'm not having to deal with the family while doing those. So there's Simone's little house. As I said, it's up on the gallery. And please feel free to follow along and join in the fun. I look forward to seeing you all. I do have a video of the house build up here on YouTube. Uh, there, Either I will put a link to it in the end card or I will put a link to or I will also put a link to it down in the comments. So thank you so much for watching this video and for being here while I figure out how this all, all this stuff works. This is about the third time I've tried to record this video because I barely know how the audio works. So again, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. I hope to talk to you all very soon and please like and subscribe and check out my other videos and have a great night. Well, it's night here. <laughs> Toodles.